What's going on, Reject Nation? Greg Alba here. So, I've been waiting all dang day for this Tomb Raider trailer to drop. I wasn't too excited about this movie, but then yesterday I did some research on it, and I found out it was based off the 2013 video game reboot. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not too familiar with it, and I don't have time to play the whole game. So yesterday, I, I did the lazy man's version of playing a game. I went on YouTube. I watched the entirety of the gameplay and the cutscenes, uh, Tomb Raider 2013 edition, because I heard this movie's going to heavily borrow from that one. After watching it, I, I kind of want to share some of my anticipation thoughts. If you want to skip straight to the reaction, here's the time mark right here if you want to hop right to the reaction part. So I know some of you guys are like, you take too long to just get into the reaction. I don't like actual commentary, the part where you're creating your own content. I don't like that. <laughs> so I want to get my anticipation thoughts. What I'm hoping this movie does is give us a strong character in Lara Croft. What I loved about her journey in the video game was her story of becoming a survivor. When her story begins, she's this young female archaeologist archaeologist hoping to discover you know something monumental make a name for herself and she's not that confident in herself she feels a pressure to uphold her croft name you know live up to the image that her father laid out or living in her father's shadow would have been a smarter way to say that one and for those who played the game when the ship crashes onto the island she has to truly grow to survive this mission i don't know if the movie's going to be doing this but i really appreciated how it was laura's decision to go take that specific route to that island and then she felt this weight of responsibility this guilt on on her shoulders that this is all her fault that the entire crew of the ship is now stranded some died some are in peril when i was watching these cutscenes, i was thinking there's some real great opportunity for some strong storytelling in a movie i can easily see how this can be adapted into a film because in the beginning of her having to survive she's really on her own she's frightened but she takes action to live she kills deadly animals and deadly human inhabitants of the island the other character in the game that i looked on imdb this character isn't credited in the movie which is kind of a bummer because I really liked him in the game. The character Roth, he says a line to her that I wrote down so I made sure I didn't get it right. I mean, get it wrong. <laughs> I got that one wrong. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. And that line to me is a big part of what her character arc entails. It's a story of her learning to hone in and trust her creative instincts and survival instincts. Her character grows from the scared woman with a lack of faith in herself to a strong, powerful, and kind of dangerous woman. She becomes a fighter at the end. What I primarily took away from watching the hours of gameplay and the cutscenes, there's a great chance for an actual strong character character in this video game adaptation of a film. But of course, even seeing like the Instagram teaser trailer was like, well, they're going to show us the action sequences. And there's some great potential for some awesome action sequences as well. What I really loved about her character, it kind of reminded me of Nathan Drake. I don't know if these guys are the same creators or not. When she's fighting in the game, she's constantly struggling. She grunts, she makes noises, she's in pain, and she takes energy for her sometimes to hurt people or strike or climb things. I like that part of her that felt very human, which made it easier to get on board with when I'm just watching the gameplay and not actually playing it. She has to hone in on her strength and motivation and she gets hurt. So when I was watching the gameplay, it sort of made me think this could also be an opportunity to sort of be like a modern day action film with like action inspirations from films such as The Revenant or Apocalypto, but modern day, where it's this one woman versus nature. Because yeah, she fights a lot of humans, she kills some animals, but a lot of it is her fighting environment. She gets trapped in water rapids, she has to survive the jump jungle and deadly beasts in the jungle and then there's weather conditions she has to fight against and you know when they're killing the humans and some of the animals you know, I'm thinking to myself like is this video game adaptation going to be rated R I feel like a lot of the time some video game adaptations are rated R but I, I feel like this one might not be nor does it really need to be rated R I could see how they can make this story and not have it be that bloody although I think it would be way cooler if it was rated R I gotta say that the director Roar Uthog I think is his name I should have wrote that down that would have been smart of me I could see how he's a good choice for this adaptation from what I read about his I think 2015 film The Wave it was a disaster movie that surprisingly had a lot of characters as a as a main focus which made the disaster stuff even more impactful even though I heard it was cliched it was actually a really good flick because the character was good in an action movie or a disaster film. And with Lara Croft being a character who not only fights off humans, she has to battle with surviving nature. I could see if this director hones in on the strengths of what his last film did, 
puts it into here and gives us a good character, I could see this being a solid film. That's all my anticipation thoughts of what I'm hoping this trailer will help me feel <laughs> solidified in by the time I'm done watching it. I know I won't be able to judge it until the final product comes out. However, I'm hoping the trailer at least communicates to me that there's definitely a possibility it'll be there. Here we go. What's your name? Laura. Selene? Croft. Danny Rand. <laughs> there it is, peeps. Barry, your father's gone. You can pick up where he left off. I see so much of him in you. Brilliant. Hello, Sprout. If you're listening to this, then I must be dead. I found something. A tomb called the Mother of Death. To Mother of Death. If Trinity succeeds, our world is in danger. Promise me you will stop them. I promise. Ooh. I think I know where my dad went. That's right in the middle of the Devil's Sea. It will be an adventure. Death is not an adventure. Uh oh. Damn. This didn't come here. Ouch. But I'm glad that you did. Is he Matthias? What do you know about my father? Now I see the likeness. The recklessness. Ouch, nice. Once and for all, the fate of humanity is now in your hands. <sighs> <laughs> this looks so cool. <laughs> Can't be too careful these days. The world has gone bloody mad. I'll take two. Nick Frost, I'll take two. I love that. Oh, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. I, I like it, you know? You gotta be weary of video game adaptations, though, man. You gotta be weary of video game adaptations. Sometimes they have some really bomb trailers, and uh, more often than not, they're not the greatest movies. So far, I know I gave a bunch of my anticipation thoughts. It looks to be giving me a lot of what I was hoping for. A personal Lara Croft tale as something that the trailer really communicated to me. She's going to this island where her father went missing. She's trying to prove herself. The action sequence the environment that all looks similar to the video game and in the 2013 video game that this is being heavily inspired from they didn't feature Lara's dad in it he just talked about how she feels she's living in his shadow and you can still feel that weight of responsibility here in Alicia's uh, performance that's one thing you got to give the trailer that they're really communicating is this is a personal journey that she's going on what I appreciate about differences that they made was there's not a whole bunch of crew members although I kind of would have liked to cast but it allows us to be primarily just invested in who Lara is and who the ever the supporting character Asian guy is. And yay, Asians, diversity. And I talked about in my anticipation thoughts how I didn't want Lara to seem like this character who really just has a handle on everything. You know, like Angelina Jolie's Lara Croft looks seemed like she just handled business like, like it was nothing. Here, I like that it seems like she's struggling. Granted, there's some scenes here where she would probably look a lot messier, but because she's a female lead in a huge studio film, they're not gonna dirty her up too much. Cause in the video game, Laura gets beat quite a lot. She, I, I thought like, oh, in the trailer, maybe we'll get some images of her getting like bruised up and looking really dirty. But for the most part, her makeup looks really intact. It seems to be an exciting adventure tale. I love all the imagery of her dodging a lot of things and then running across logs and being on top of the waterfall, having to jump into that abandoned airplane. Her dealing with nature and environmental circumstances. That's everything I did want to see in terms of action sequences of course you know you got the that I don't know the name of it, the mountain climbing axe thingy, which is a great weapon, which can make for some hard R violence, but I don't think this film's gonna be a hard R. Bow and arrow, of course. I don't think this film looks like it's gonna be perfect. There's some 
dialogue moments where I'm like, this sounds like really cliche Hollywood dialogue. You know, all the stuff about her father or dad even saying in the videotape, if you're watching this someday, like there's a lot of cliche sounding dialogue. However, I don't feel this film needs to be the greatest thing in the world. I need it to be good enough to open up a door for better video game movies. And I feel like it has the potential to do that. It seems very character based on who Lara Croft is. It's a personal story, but you also got some cool adventure. And the CGI does look fantastic. This looks like it must've been a very physically demanding role for Alicia Vikander. I don't know how to say her name, Alicia Vikander, whatever. Because if this trailer is being truthful, the vibe I'm getting is that this journey is a very personal mission for her. So the stakes on any cool adventure sequence that she's going through will be raised because this is a very personal journey that she's going on. Walton Goggins as a bad guy, Matthias, thinking of the video game, Matthias is, seems like he's very different than how they're translating him into the movie. In the game, Matthias and his people have been stranded there for years. Here, it looks like Walton Goggins hasn't been there that long. He's probably some businessman explorer checking out the island. That's what it's communicating to me in the brief imagery we got of him. But for all I know, it could be different. One thing that the game does is that as it gets later into the game, it deals a lot more mystical, supernatural elements. I don't know if the movie's gonna do that, but I think it's smart to keep it much more grounded in reality, uh, for especially for its first trailer. I'm excited for it. I, I feel, I have hope for it. I'm not gonna get my hopes too high. From what I said in my anticipation thoughts, it seems like it's aiming to deliver on most of those things. Their heart seems like it's in the right place and maybe the movie will turn out great in the end. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Tomb Raider trailer? Are you guys excited for it? I am. <laughs> I have hopes for this, man. I do. You can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. And uh, follow me at the Greg Alba on Instagram and Twitter. And check out our Patreon. Become a Patronodec today.